From regenerating limbs and tails to wolverine-like amphibians, here's everything you need to know about Japanese giant salamanders and salamanders. Number 14. What are they? Due to the similar appearance, salamanders are sometimes mistaken for lizards, but they belong to the group of amphibians, not reptiles. They're more closely related to frogs and toads, and they've been around for a long time. Their oldest fossils date back some 164 million years to the late Jurassic. Experts think that salamanders diverged from other amphibians around 200 million years ago. They have a wide range of sizes too. Salamanders can be as small as 1.1 inches including the tail, 2.7 centimetres, or they can be nearly 6 feet long, 1.8 metres, and weigh more than 140 pounds, 65 kilos. You'll encounter amphibians of both extremes later in the list. Number 13. Where are they found? More than 650 living species are recognised, with about one third of them found in North America. Wherever they might be found, these amphibians need a location near the water. If it gets too hot or dry, they'll perish, so expect them to inhabit wetlands, woodlands or areas near streams. Some species, like the olm, spend their entire lives in the water. Did you know that females of certain water-dwelling species can lay as many as 450 eggs at one time? We'll take a look at the olm and some other unusual salamanders just ahead. Number 12. What's Newt? You could say that a newt is a salamander, but a salamander isn't always a newt. As we mentioned, salamander refers to an entire group of amphibians that have tails as adults. That includes newts, which are semi-aquatic creatures that occupy a salamander subfamily. In contrast to their relatives, newts tend to have skin that is not as smooth and they appear more lizard-like as adults. More than 100 species of newts are recognised and are found from North America to Asia. We have a few newts on the list, but none of them are used as ingredients for witches brews. Not that we know of, anyway. Number 11. Skin Deep Salamanders and newts have some interesting physical attributes, so let's take a look at some of them. Their bodies are usually covered in mucus, which is discharged by glands in the skin. While that doesn't sound so appealing, it aids in thermoregulation and skin respiration. That's important because some species don't have lungs and breathe through their skin. It also makes them more slippery for predators to catch. Another way to deter predators is through the use of toxins that are secreted by glands on their necks or tails. The fire salamander is even known to shoot toxic fluid from its spine at an attacker. One reason why some of these animals display vivid skin patterns is to warn aggressors that eating them would be a bad idea. Number 10. Bonus Features Different species of salamanders have different methods of respiration. We mentioned how some of them breathe through their skin. Other species have gills, lungs, or breathe through membranes of the mouth and throat. Some of them, like the Amphiuma, have both lungs and gills and are known to vocalise. Additional abilities include salamanders having detachable tails. When under attack, the tail will fall off. While the aggressor is distracted, the salamander can escape. Within a short time, the tail will regrow. That brings up a well-known ability possessed by salamanders. They can regenerate complex tissues like eyes as well as limbs. It only takes a few weeks for a missing limb to be fully regenerated. Not surprisingly, this ability is being analysed for its medical value to humans. Number 9. Kaiser's Spotted Newt From here on, we'll look at some rare and unusual species of salamanders before heading to the feature attraction. Let's start with Kaiser's Spotted Newt, which is also known as the Luriston Newt. They're endemic to four streams of the southern Zagros Mountains of Iran, where they inhabit an area of less than four square miles. This amphibian is noted for their unusual patterns and coloration. Because their habitat can be without water for several months, the species will hibernate for that part of the year. Number 8. Dwarf Salamander while some of the largest salamanders can grow nearly 6 feet long, 1.8 metres, this member of the family reaches lengths of around 3.5 inches or 9 centimetres. They're recognised by their long tails and slender bodies, and tend to favour swampy pine woods where it stays hidden underneath leaves or debris on the forest floor. This species is found in the US from North Carolina to Texas, and is sometimes called the dwarf four-toed salamander. Number 7. Hellbender 
These salamanders from North America can reach sizes of around 30 inches, 75 centimetres long snout to vent, while weighing about 5.5 pounds or 2.5 kilos. That makes them the third largest aquatic salamanders in the world. One of the most interesting things about this animal is its name, Hellbender. The origin isn't completely known, but some experts think it has to do with the animal's look. Various accounts described it as appearing like a creature from hell that was bent on returning home. Some other nicknames for this amphibian include Allegheny Alligator and Devil Dog. If you know of any colourful nicknames, let us know in the comments. Number 6. Rough Skinned Newt We mentioned how the skin of some salamanders could have toxic properties. This critter provides a good example of that. It has a rough, granular skin that contains glands which produce an especially potent neurotoxin called tetrodotoxin, or TTX. It's the same toxin carried by pufferfish and causes death by asphyxiation. Even touching the newt's toxin is enough to cause skin irritations, and it has been documented that eating one of these beasts can kill you. Number 5. Ulm also known as Proteus, these amphibians are recognised as Europe's only cave-dwelling vertebrates. They're entirely aquatic and even sleep underwater. The ancient salamanders are blind but possess well-developed sensory organs that enable them to hunt prey like small crabs, snails and insects. They've evolved over millions of years to exist in a subterranean environment and are known to live for 100 years. Despite those long lifespans, the Ulm only reproduce about once a decade. Did you know that in the 17th century, heavy rains from Slovenia washed them up from their subterranean habitat? People believed the animals were baby dragons that lived deep in the earth. Number 4. Iberian Ribbed Newt This amphibian found in Morocco has a defence mechanism that involves a bit of self-mutilation, and it's also reminiscent of the Wolverine character from the X-Men comic books and movies. When threatened, it will push its ribs through the sides of its body. As the bones pierce the skin, the animal produces a toxin that secretes through the newly opened pores. This serves to inject stinging toxins into the mouth of a predator. Thanks to the newt's superior immune system, the pierced skin quickly heals with no infection or scar tissue developing. For the record, the animal's bones are not made of adamantium. Number 3. Giant Pepperfish that's what the giant Japanese salamander is often called in its native land. Specimens in the wild have weighed about 58 pounds or 26 and a half kilograms while measuring some 5 feet long or 160 centimetres. That's enough to make them both the world's second largest species of salamander and the second largest amphibians. Experts say that the animals are often found in the southwest part of the country where it's restricted to streams and is entirely aquatic. Their skin contains a lot of folds to increase its area because that's how they respire. The pepperfish tag is applied for a couple of reasons. They spend all their time in the water, and they secrete a milky substance with a pungent odour that smells like Japanese pepper. Did you know it's believed that a mythical beast called the kappa might have been inspired by this giant salamander? Number 2. Axolotl These animals are named for an Aztec deity, and they're native to the lakes and canals of Mexico. They're also called Mexican walking fish and are known for having a blissed out appearance. Along with some other factors, that unique look helps make them a popular choice in the pet trade. They're also a popular choice with scientists and researchers thanks to their amazing regenerative abilities. Axolotls can regrow their legs, tails and even their spinal cords. There's a theory that the amphibians inherited the ability from a common ancestor shared with zebrafish that lived over 400 million years ago. Unfortunately, they're critically endangered due to pollution and habitat loss. At one point in 2014, axolotls were thought to have gone extinct in the wild, until a few specimens finally reappeared. Number 1. Chinese Giant Salamander We saved the biggest for last, and this beast truly lives up to its name. The Chinese giant salamander is recognised as the world's largest amphibian and is native to mountain streams and lakes of China. The creatures can reach lengths of nearly 6 feet 1.8 metres and weigh up to 110 pounds or 50 kilos. Because it belongs to a family that stretches back 170 million years, it's also called a living fossil. They're known to make numerous vocalisations including barking or crying sounds, some of which sound eerily like human children. 
In fact, the critter is known as the infant fish in the Chinese language. Like the axolotl, the giant salamander is critically endangered. Their numbers have dramatically declined thanks to pollution, human overconsumption, and for their use in traditional medicines. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next episode here on Epic Wildlife.